tap in. Try, try to make Everybody our go get in Be different. Apple Music, Spotify, all streaming platforms. Okay. I'm gonna bring my boy Nova in. Oh, yeah. you think I'm a new sleep? I didn't get no sleep. Girl, you can go on and leave. I'm still gonna be me. Hey, I'm gonna be better without you. I'm making love on the show. Beat. Might take a trip overseas. Uh, I'm trying to make love on the beach. I call it love, but I fuck it up. She call it, but she know I fuck it up. Can't wait till they play this shit in the club. You know you a better than fuck it up. Girl, take you a shot, what you here for? How they playing in the city suspect? You ain't gotta worry about no cuffing. If it ain't a vibe, it ain't What's going on, man? We. Motherfucker, man. It's been a minute, man. Too lit. The littest motherfucker back in this bitch. You did. It's your motherfucking boy Astro. We here. And you know, the basement shit. Man, we got a special guest with us today, man. Lonzo, who we got with us, man? Matter of fact, let him introduce you, yeah, who we with? It's be different, man. I appreciate y'all for having me too. For different real. in the building, y'all. How you feeling today, bro? See, I'm good, man. I'm still kicking and you know screaming, making music. I can't complain. Type of shit. What type of music do you drop? If I may ask, because I'm I'm not really familiar with your music, cause you know. Yeah, for sure. Shit, we just met. Let's keep for it real. Sure. So, uh. Shit, I be all over the board, bro. I be, uh, you know, rap or hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, R&B, shit like that. I be tapping in, trying to tap into that, like, versatile shit, for real. Tight shit. You yeah. you would say you, like, more lyrical or more vibey? Like, you, you trying to catch the vibe more or you tr- be more on the lyrics? Like, man, I'm trying to make sure that they get the message. I'm, like, in the middle, for real. You trying to find a good balance. Yeah. Like, shit, I feel it. I yeah, feel yeah. It. <coughs> so what made you tap in with the Million Dollar Basement? How you hear about this? Uh, honestly, I first seen an interview y'all did with uh with M. Little you know, M. Shot, yeah, shots out to M. Shout out to boy. that boy, Eastside General for show. Sure. Crazy with the music. Uh, and then I had did a uh, it was like a special guest, special guest uh performance. I had filled in with somebody. I don't know who the girl was, but I had filled in for a girl with the special guest. You was uh, on the Meet the Underdog Showcase, right? Yeah, you know what it was? yeah, that one. Okay, okay. How was that experience doing Meet the Underdog? They done made some noise through the city over the last few years, and they keep going up, man. So how was that? Uh, it was a vibe. I ain't going to lie. Once I walked in, I fucked with, sec- with, uh, with the setup and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh I met that was KB. When the underdog was here at the Million Dollar Basement, right? Or yeah. in our event space, correct? Yeah, it was okay. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a vibe, though, man. That was probably my first time doing a special guest, you know, kind of like hosting the event. But y'all had like a lot of artists up here doing like a showcase. So it was a vibe, man. Hey, shit. Yeah. So, like, what, um, you have any projects up and coming? Like, dropping off? <clears throat> I actually just dropped the project. Uh, it's called Vent. I dropped it on Apple Music, Spotify. It dropped in uh, in June, June 9th. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can find that, tap in. It's called what? Vent. Vent? Mm-hmm. Like you vent? Yeah. Type shit, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. How many tracks on it? It's 15 and all. Okay, 15 tracks. And it's on um, all platforms? Yes, sir. It's... uh. You know what I'm saying? How you spell event? Simple. Uh, really, Apple Music, Spotify, I know for sure. I be putting my shit out through United Masters, so I don't know exactly everything that's, that is, you know, distributed to. But yeah, it's out on all platforms. What inspired you to start making music? <coughs> uh, Honestly, it started out like fun, bro, for real. Just like a vibe. Like I used to freestyle a lot with my homeboy in college and shit. So, shit, we fucked around and ran into this dude. It was like a dorm upstairs. We were living in these dorm rooms. And he uh he was recording upstairs and we heard him. We was like, bro, we be freestyling all the time. We might as well just go up there and fuck around one time. Yeah. So we went up there, recorded. That was my first time in the studio. It's probably like, did like three, four songs. That I first been, time? Yeah, I've been locked in ever since. That's hard. Yeah. I don't let that bitch go out. That's hard for sure. So, so oh, let me get my phone. Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, you got any features on your um, project? 
I do. My homeboy, uh, Chan. Shout out to him. Uh, the one who I started making music with. So he on the. Yeah, yeah, he on that. He on this song called Clear. Yeah, we got a song on that together. So you went to college. Where'd you uh, Where'd you graduate from? Well, for those who don't know, where you what, what part of Atlanta, Georgia, are you from? I'm from the southwest side, uh, over there, Cameron Road, Oakland City. Where you went to school that? at? I went to Thera. Thera? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's right there by Green, bro. Yo, you don't know. For those that Already. don't know about the, uh, the SWATs, southwest Atlanta, what, what what's it like? Uh... Swats is is really what you make it, man. It's it can be goddamn <coughs> the most hood of the hood, or it can just be you know a youngin trying to find his way. You know what I'm saying? Me growing up personally, I wasn't I wasn't really in the streets like that. Like me, and my brothers and shit, we used to hoop all the time. Like you know what I'm saying? My dreams was hooping, so. We used to hoop pretty much as much as we could, you know what I'm saying, trying to work and get better at shit. So playing basketball kept you out of a lot of situations then. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no business being sure. that's what's up. Yeah, I used to hoop. Sure, I used to hoop, play baseball. <coughs> My primary sport was baseball. And then I got into basketball when like all the going into high school, all the niggas that was about to be seniors and shit, they was like big bros and shit. So, mm -hmm. you know, they gassing up the coach, like, man, I gotta let you know what I'm saying? Little hoot, little hoot. Little. So I fucked around, made the team just off of senior saying, hey, man, put this nigga on the team. Like, he look like he can hoot, nigga. Shout out to them, goddamn. Nah, they, shout out to them, man. Shout out to that boy, Shaq. My boy, my boy, Devin in there, man. Niggas mm -hmm. definitely had me piped up as a freshman in high school. I tried baseball one time. I couldn't hit for shit. Nah, baseball, I fuck with baseball. That's I ain't gonna lie. One. I could throw though. I played pitcher. That was crazy. I played pitcher, but I just can't hit. <laughs> Man, yo, For real. Nah. Shit, boy. That pitching take you a long way. Pitcher, pitchers don't even need to know how to hit. Hell, yeah. to be real with you, you a good ass pitcher, boy. Fuck here. Yeah. <coughs> strike yeah. your ass out. Real shit. But shit. Yeah. So tell us about your last project, Vent. You say you dropped that this summer, over the summer. Yeah, June ninth. June ninth. Yeah, so like a couple months ago. So. Of that project, what do you feel like was your the song that kind of like made the project that tied the project to make you want to call it Vent? Like what what put you in that that mindset? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I got a song on that. That's well, I got a few songs on that that made me call it Vent. Honestly, okay. it's like a lot of songs on that one. I'm like. You know, self-explanatory, like on Vent, since it's called Vent, so I'm like right. venting about a lot of shit, past, shit that go on every day. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, speaking of the project, we about to play a song, Lose Sleep, off the project Vent, by the boy Be Different, man. What the fuck going on, man? Me and the basement shit, you did. Going crazy. Oh. I'm pushing this one too, by the way, man. Diff tap in. Try, try to make Everybody a Vent. Be different. Apple Music, Spotify, all streaming platforms. Okay. I'm gonna bring my boy Nova in. Oh, yeah. you think I'm a lose sleep? I didn't get no sleep. Girl, you can go on and leave. I'm still gonna be me. I'm trying to be better without you. I'm making love on the show. Might take a trip overseas. I'm trying to make love on the beach. I call it love, but I fuck it up. She call it, but she know I fuck it up. Can't wait till they play this shit in the club. You know you a better than fuck it up. Girl, take you a shot, what you here for? How they playing in the city, suspect. You ain't gotta worry about no cuffing. If it ain't no vibe, it ain't nothing. I'm eating that. I've been focused on that. I've been licking my shirt for merch. I ain't trying right. to go back to dirt. Have you ever lost blood in her? Never been through the mud, it's worse. Nah, I do it again to visit the sky. I ain't talking planes, I'm talking God. Again, again, I'm keeping my rug. It ain't my time yet. Knew it gon' be some young nigga hang like, damn, he ain't off here grind yet. How the hell he gon' offer me over the phone? No, I can't sign it. I'd rather stay independent. Thank God I can record whenever. And giving up, I ain't got time for this. Days off, I ain't got time for this. So why we in this club? Just vibe, cause I got time for this. Can't waste my time on bad vibes, I'ma want my time a bit. But it don't sound right for nobody. I mean, if you got a lot of your time, you're gonna take a shot. You think 
Yeah, you can go and leave. I I'm man. still gonna be me. Try to be better with us. I'm making love on the beat. Uh, might take a trip overseas. Uh, I'm trying to make love on the beach. Uh, I call it love, but I fuck it up. Shit, that's what you know. I fuck it up. Can't wait till they play with you in the club. You know you better than fuck it up. We gotta be different, we gotta worry about no cuffing If it ain't no vibe, it ain't nothing And I mean that We can do that bit one more time though Yeah Like a little bit shot I said we got another one shot You already know what you're doing What you got? Let me get a little cut, man Hey, production, can we get a cut? We got more cut production let me get let me get a real production. Let me get, let me get a can we get a one one? Because production said we don't got no more cups. Come on, man. <laughs> Fucking terrible. <laughs> hey, man. I ain't gonna lie. So like, I'm just hot in the middle in the middle of the motherfucker. Hey, hey. Let me introduce myself real quick. What's that? I'm Nova. I'm Nova, my boy. So. Said be different, right? Yes, sir. All right. So the whole time I'm watching from the side, I'm <laughs> waiting on these niggas to ask you like, what's your process? Because like, all right. So looking for, listening from that shit. I hear your shit. It sound like you damn near like punching in, mm-hmm. and I fuck with that. I fuck with punching in way more than one. Uh, let me not say that because motherfuckers gonna take that shit the wrong way. I fuck with niggas that punch in because I feel like I believe most shit that you saying, and from hearing what you saying, I'm fucking with it. So what's your process like when you recording? I appreciate that, man. And, uh, for sure, nice to meet you, bro. Nah, you know sure, you sure. said Nova, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, my process is basically what you said, punching in. That song right there. I probably wrote like the first two lines. Yeah. And then just went from there. Okay. You know? So yeah, like that's, when you start and you always do it like that or like sometimes you go in and like, or sometimes you might actually write like when the beat is actually like that type shit. Yeah, it it depends, bro. It just depends on the vibe and yeah. like how to be there. If I'm like just sitting at the studio, I might just go in from you know once I hear a good beat, I might just go in from the start of the beat. Yeah, and then sometimes I might just be in the car and I think of some shit, or you know just like just regular shit throughout the day. Type you shit. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, just I might hear a beat and might think of some shit, might write it down. Probably write a hook or something, a half a hook, some shit like that. Like that, nigga. You get that. You get that one bar. You gotta write that shit down ASAP. Y'all ever be in the car? (laughs) Y'all hear a song, and it's like you hearing a song. You might hear a melody in the song that they not even using. So you might come up with a bar based off the song you just listening to, and you gotta go in on that. I did a nigga the other day because all right, so let me say what I do. I um, I main there. I main not main there. Fuck, I said. (laughs) I mainly engineer like on a day to day basis. Cap. But I'm that a, boy's a I'm rapper. I'm a producer. I'm an artist. Shit, I edit videos, do cookups, covers, all that shit. Supernova. Mm-hmm. So like, I understand like <coughs> every process of the shit. So like, I know like when I record, like as he was saying, like I hear shit in the beat mm-hmm. and it'll sound like a certain word type shit. Facts. If you get what I'm saying, nah, hell yeah, I do that shit, shit all the time. that make music gonna get that. Nah, hell yeah, every time, especially when it's like a. Uh, like a sample, you know what I'm saying? Some sa- a sample of some shit. If you like can't hear exactly what they saying, you trying to yeah. like mimic it you a little bit. Your but brain you might say some whole different shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, bro. Did you grow up playing any instruments? I didn't. So, I wanted to learn how to play the drums. I ain't gonna lie. But so like we got into it. I, I feel always like wondered this because instruments. I played instruments growing up, which is kind of how I got. Well, not even kind of. That's where my musical background come from. That. So, what you play? Shit, I started out playing trumpet, and then from trumpet, I ended up being a percussionist. For a whole time, then, I ain't know you never played trumpet. You ain't never know I played trumpet, bro. No, nigga. Hell yeah, hey, you bro. You know I played trumpet. You got to bring that up now. Hell yeah. You got you got to bring that motherfucker up here now. Hey yeah, shit, that, that motherfucker in the store somewhere. Yeah. I still got that motherfucker. <laughs> no yeah, that be my classic right now. Like, bro, I'm talking out. about <laughs> shit. Second chair on trumpet. Elementary school band going crazy, but <laughs> ended up playing percussion. And then, like, just being a percussionist, I know how to literally play every little percussion instrument. And there's hundreds, like, well, in the band I was in, we had like a little over 100 pieces of percussion instruments. Mm. And I got down, literally played every last one of them. 
I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what what's a percussion. So my bad. Percussion is uh, um that's drums. Oh the drums. Yeah, that's yeah, drums. Okay. So like I was in marching band. I played snare drum. Yeah. Uh, played tenor tom, but majority of my marching band time and I did on snare. You know what I'm saying? So that shit was cool. But hey, I just really well, wasn't that's what's up. My fault. I ain't mean to care about that. No, no you, bro, when you go look. to the studio, what's the type of vibes you gotta have? Like when you, when you in a, you dolo, you got the gang in that motherfucker, or you got some females in that motherfucker. You got drink, smoke, sober. What's you, what, how you? Yeah, how like you what's your what's your studio essentials to get you in that mode? They gonna need some oils. <laughs> hey, what you need? <laughs> nigga said <Okay>. oils. <laughs> that boy here. You ain't trying to go to the studio, my boy. Man, niggas be sometimes. Oh, nigga, I need. Hey man, sour skin. We done had niggas come to the studio to go to sleep. I swear to God. Crazy shit. So you don't never know. Hey, to take a nap, for sure. <laughs> Let me get four hours, bro. All jokes aside. Let me get four hours, bro. It depends, bro. though. Like, if a nigga probably done did a whole 24 hours up, and hell yeah, you, you got to take a nap. But if he booked it and then booked it for a certain time and still went to sleep. No, I'm talking about he. That's, he yeah. That's tough. He he pulling okay. up. He finna roll up. <laughs> yes. He finna roll up <laughs> within the first hour. Bro, bro. Take the second out of smoke for the rest of the- And then he gonna take it out. He might hop in the booth. Really, he gonna take about thirty minutes trying to find a beat because he really ain't have no beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like that where it really start. I'm saying how many hours did he book though? We we, we gonna start with four. On um, bro, we gonna start with four. four. So thirty minutes on some maybe six. shit. Shit, bro, you got a beat? I ain't got to beat. Hit YouTube. Go to YouTube. I ain't booked the hotel. With- Yo, like, shawty, don't be That's prepared. a hotel, got man. No preparation. Boy, that bitch, just chill out. But, uh... Yeah, back, back to your question. question. Yeah, back to your question. Uh, I don't really need too much, man. I just need... It's all I need, Mike. For real. Right, like, right. I don't... I don't smoke. I used to smoke. I had slowed down, but I, I stopped smoking. I don't smoke, for real. I, uh, I don't really drink like that. On certain occasions, I might, you know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. speaking Go of drinking, up. man, we finna take this shot real quick. I'm yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should have did this. <laughs> 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 I said it like that, but shit, I drank it real quick. Hey, man, shout out to be different, million dollar basement shit, man. What made you stop smoking? Hmm. Yeah, what made you stop smoking? I ain't gonna lie, I get real lazy when I smoke, and I be trying to, like, handle shit, do a lot of shit, make sure I'm taking care of what I need to take care of. Niggas don't like to admit that. Niggas go get some weed, I get, get some food, and th- they day is over with. Yeah, <laughs> they day is over with. I be I be like, buddy, whoever he is, I got them sit down at the studio and fall asleep. Like I be lazy as hell when I'm yeah I'm geeked up. See, that be that thing. Motherfuckers need that self awareness. Like maybe yes. I am like maybe I am tripping right now. Maybe I don't need this shit. You feel me? Maybe this shit is slowing me down. Nah, type I don't. Shit. Um, Whoever you, it depends on the person, bro. Like, some folks, goddamn, you know, that shit don't bother them at all. Niggas might be more productive uh, when they get yeah, it. So, hey, it, like, it depends like on who you are. When we was younger, we got different effects on different people. You feel me? We yeah. not for everybody. Facts. Yeah, it's simple. It's crazy because mm-hmm. when you start doing shit like this, everybody say, this may not be for you. Like, it's almost like the little label at the bottom of some shit that you don't even read. You just skip over it. Side effects. Every, you feel me? Everybody, no matter if they a good person or a bad person, everybody going to say this may not be for you. Because you're like, hell, that just come with doing anything. Um, don't get put down. If I get into it, I just know. I just have to be like on some chill shit to where like I'm, I'm really retired or I'm where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? A place where you can just be comfortable. Yeah, like, no, to the point where I am comfortable. Like, I'm still yeah, trying to make yeah. it in music. Like, once I get, or maybe once I get, like, to the point where I feel like, okay, I'm on a, I'm on the up and coming. Like, I'm on a, you know what I'm saying, on the rise. I'm a monster, yeah. the top of the top. You know what I'm saying, where I feel comfortable. And I probably do it to chill. Like, so, like, I don't know if they, I don't, I can't remember if they asked. How long you been doing music? Five years. Five years. What was you yeah. was doing before music? I was hooping. I was hooping throughout my whole life. So if you wasn't doing music, you would be hooping type yeah, shit. Yeah, I still okay. be trying to hoop. That was gonna be my next question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Was you fired? Was you? Fired? I was. I, I was tough. I still got a little something, man. 
I feel, uh, I feel I, like you hoop too, man. I got them. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I used to hoop. I ain't gonna lie. I was short, so I started at point guard. So I got a little bit of handles, and then I got tall. But I always been a shooter. I could shoot. Mm. These days, I ain't gonna hold you. I can't. Yeah. I ain't really got handles like that. Mm. These niggas is terrible. I, That's I why they band, artists. Bro. That's why we doing what we doing. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped pooping. I, I stopped pooping, and I went straight to the sun, nigga. Nah. I might see. Right? I don't mind getting one in. Got I got my membership at LA Fitness. Whenever y'all trying to do that, we said NDB run. Oh, but we'll come. NDB run. We got that gym. I saw that motherfucker. Real quick though. So I was saying I had asked um because I know like my boy he comes from a musical background. Tulip, you you uh play any instruments? Are good playing any instruments? Yeah, I play the drums. I remember you saying okay. the drums. I play the snare. So like that's where your band. musical just doing And I, I know how to play the piano a little bit. No, nah, it's like shit. My mom and them like shit. They all like did music with my mom and my pops. You feel me? So you just grew up around it. Yeah, for sure. All right. So reason I asked that is because as you can see, we kind of music just been in our life. Mm-hmm. How did you know what I'm saying? I just being as a person that basketball, excuse me, damn, geeked up. Basketball was your center focus. Mm-hmm. Was music something like, damn, I'm just good at this naturally, so I could take this route as well. Or it was something like you just wanted to try. And you good at it, mm-hmm. like. I think what you're saying is like what really like inspired. Yeah, you. Or like, like yeah. damn, made you want to start because you music. said earlier you heard somebody you used to freestyle and somebody yeah. upstairs had this setup, so mm-hmm. you would go fuck with them. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like, what even got you to that point is what I'm I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't even like it went on purpose, bro. Because like I said, like we used to just freestyle fucking around in the room, and we heard Buddy upstairs recording. So yeah, to add on to that. So to add on to his question, oh, yeah. do you look at rap as a hustle or like something as a passion? Because like, no, do you not, look at music like- as a passion, for sure. At first, it was like fun. Like when I first recorded my first few songs, that shit was fun. And like, you, I don't know if you, you said you record too? Like you, mm, you made music? Okay, yeah. okay, cool. Uh, so like when you recorded your first song and you heard yourself back, you know what I'm saying? Once you bounce it out and everything. On that shit, like, feel good to hear yourself. Okay. Yeah. On the beat, like, but that shit. It's yeah. certain people that only like to hear themselves. That shit kind of make you feel like a kid again once you really fuck with music. That's when I learned that I really fuck with it. Right. Okay. So you just found that. So you like to hear that, yourself. That, yeah. that, that kid, you yeah. know, little kids, when they latch on to something, that's that their favorite toy. We mm-hmm. taking this shit to the grave, for real. Nah, for sure. Yeah. That's how I feel. I feel that. Nah, that shit is hard. You you saying like you bring up the the fact like the first time hearing your song, like a memory like that. That shit is crazy. Mm-hmm. No cap, because I remember hearing my first shit. And my first like, song was that shit turn you up. Nigga, you probably what? go back and listen to it now. Like I go back I'm and listen like, to my first song. Like, I'm bumping this shit like, in the car. Yeah. All month. So what which you artists saying? you listening to that like inspired you to like to fuck with Facts. the music for like like a style? Because you know like everybody when they listen to somebody that kind of influence like low key a style how they yeah. kind of approach shit or the type of beats or some shit like that. You know uh, I'm glad you asked it. Uh, Lil Wayne for sure. Shit show. He just brought Colorado out. I ain't even know until I seen it on Instagram. That shit was hard. Yeah, I ain't even know that. Hold on, he did say. what? He brought, brought Colorado, Colorado out. Um, bro, I ain't know that. Like, At the game, they got a team out? Yeah. Lil Wayne, bro. Man, that Wayne. is some Lil Wayne ass shit, man. <laughs> that shit was Deion hard. Said so they had to win, nigga. Double overtime, nigga. Shout out Deion and them. Last night was legendary. That boy did some shit. But no, nah, okay, Wayne. Wayne, uh J. Cole. Okay. Okay, I'll free thug, man. Free thug. Free thug, free thug, thug for sure. Free thug, if I had to give you three, that would be the three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know how many y'all want. That's I, mean, a, that, I like that three. Yeah, I ain't okay, cool. nah, that's, that's, a, been that's good one. you, but I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's a, a very solid that's three. A three. That's a solid that's three. three. That's a very solid three. three. Can't be like top three. Ain't no argument. You got okay, a top cool. three Atlanta artists, and then you got two of the top 
greatest artists in their rap. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Like mm-hmm. rappers ever, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's hard. Oh What's y'all though? Shit, I want to. Y'all make me. I go definitely Wayne for sure. Got to go Wayne. Down. And after him. I, don't, I, I ain't like it. Like, I don't like the answer for real, for real, because I don't feel like it should be it. It's not no hating shit, but to be honest, that nigga Drake hard as shit, bro. I just got to go ahead and get that nigga Drake. I ain't going to argue with it, bro. This nigga Drake I is fucking hard as shit, that. bro. I can't. It, it don't make sense, but Drake in my top three, too. Yeah, Drake. Regardless Drake. if you like the type of music <laughs> really he make, you bro. can't argue with it, because that nigga Drake going to make with Drake. Who out doing Drake? He going to make some. <laughs> bro, he's going to make some very versatile ass it's shit. A lie. It's right. a lot. Every time, and it's going to be a hit. Mm-hmm. Every time, Promise. it's a long catalog, but the catalog is so yeah, buddy like, crazy. What they say, nigga, numbers Future. don't lie. Yeah, buddy Future crazy. is like another goddamn top. Like Future is a Future big inspiration. Mm-hmm. Future and Thug is like the combination of Atlanta. Like that's that's my them oh. niggas go crazy. Like I, I fuck with, with everybody in Atlanta. Damn not though. They real. You, you from, from Atlanta? Atlanta? Yeah, Southwest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Swat. What's yes, your three over? Shit. Everybody got Me, one. Bro, so you know I grew up in New York. Number one, 50 Cent. I ain't gonna lie. 50 Cent was that nigga to me when I was fucking seven years old. No cap. Yeah, I fuck with it. 50 Cent. I it's was on game side. cliche as hell. What'd you say? I was on game side. Game side, fuck that nigga, bro. <laughs> I was definitely on 50 the Cent. The game made a 30 minute diss to this I nigga, was killing on this nigga, 50 cent. Bro, this nigga 50 Cent made a whole little movie. But no, nah, 50 that shit. definitely won that. And I watched time. that shit three times. I can't remember the name of it because I was like, you like said I he had said, a movie? bro, I was, yes. It was the game. Matter of fact, it was the game versus 50 Cent. No, 50 Cent versus the game. Some shit like that, bro. It was a movie? Yes. They made a I'm, movie? Nigga, I'm telling you, nigga, I was a 50 Cent fan, nigga. It was, on 50, it was, was on a 50 Cent 50. fan, nigga. It was say a, he he had a DVD. Stop Let me find out. It was on <laughs> this 50. This nigga 50 was coming back crazy bro, with the DVDs. I said my pops yeah, had a real DVD. Fan. I was a 50 Cent fan because of my pops, nigga. That's why I got to look this up. I got to see Number that. two, I was going to say, it sound cliche. Back to it. It sound cliche. Jay-Z. That nigga, I was feeling this shit. sure. That was the first nigga, when I when I first got my iPod. That was the first song I downloaded on iTunes. Nigga, I bought what that song. Shit. It was "Girls, Girls, Girls" by Jay Z. No cap. I probably like that's a, ten years old, eleven years yo. old. That was damn. Like, how, how that shit go? Is it girls, 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 girls? What's crazy? Girls, I, I, I fucking adore. remember that shit, <laughs> bro. But other than that, like nowadays, I ain't gonna lie. The young niggas is inspiring me, like the underground niggas. Other than Jay Z and fucking Fifty Cent, I fuck with Yeet, and yeah, well Yeet hard, but not like as far as inspiration to me. Yeet who? I, I fuck with Pierre. Ye, ye who? That's my number three. Pierre. Uh, yeah. Who, who is Yeet? Pierre Bourne. Bourne, the nigga that made the beat for uh, Magnolia. No, I'm saying for, you said Yeet. Yeet. Oh Yeet, yeah. yeah oh Yeet. Got it. Oh okay. Yeet. Yeah, I'm about to say. I definitely you know, heard on for sure. The young niggas coming off with V's and them niggas. Hell yeah. yeah I'm fucking man. with these heavy right now. Damn. You fucking with niggas outside of Atlanta on music? Uh, hold on. I, I fuck with a lot of artists, bro. I'm about to go ahead. Oh, no. Nah, go ahead. We did forget about you. Nah, Your top I, three. Oh, okay. yeah. Come on. Now I'm thinking about it. Everybody said Wayne. Wayne but then it's like, damn. I ain't going to lie. I ain't put I, Wayne in my top nah, three, but he's definitely I, an honorable I, mention. Like, Wayne, definitely honorable mention, but... Number one gotta be future. Like I'm just future. I'm just from the east side. So yeah, like, yeah. I met future before future was anything. Like, but that, that nigga was raw in. Uh, he raw today. Uh, and he probably like the most consistent. My brother. That nigga like the yeah. most consistent rapper in the motherfucking game. What song sure. that is? Turn your turn your click up. Man, that nigga just snapped on that vibe. Really we gotta um wrap it up in a minute. Um, you got a song that you want to end it off with, man. You know what I'm saying? Something that you. Oh yeah, let me hear some raps. <laughs> yeah, uh, for sure. Well, yeah, future. I have to got um, snapped on that verse. I think a future be hard. Is future shit hove. Yeah, like I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna hove get into the whole. Oh uh, shit! To the whole. Debate. You just had to be in the era. You had to be Damn, here for that. That one's awesome. Nah, I've been here. That nah, one's awesome. Be there. I ain't gonna lie for that. Because nah, I don't have to throw, uh, throw I, Wayne in there. I was see, I would, but this the real fuck up. It really Bon Jovi, but hey, that's just the rock star side of me. 
We go get into that. But hey, man, we here would be different in Million okay. Dollar Basement. We about to drop another song off the vent tape. What you want to hear, bro? This song called Solo. Go ahead, play it. We Are you get, playing this straight um, off album music? Yeah, man. This one called Solo. It's All more right. of a vibe, though, like smooth shit. You know, sometimes you got to just... I just let go of shit, let go of people. What the fuck going on? We in the basement. Be different. I'd be a better person when I wake up. I've been better on my own. I've been working so low. I'm trying to never go back down. Remember, I was so low. Trying to think back when I felt something, it's been so long That's why I gotta make sure everybody feel my heart through these songs My cousin texted me about home and I might have to go home But I know that ain't really him, it's just a drink he be on I always tell him I'm right here, I ain't gotta drink your way out You wanna make it through the struggle, you gotta break your way out That's through the pain, through the feelings, through the rain, new beginnings Through the fame, through the bitches, no games, no gimmicks I be out here working with my job like I'm DMX And she know my little brother in the lead, she wanna see him live like he way Throw the alley you like he LeBron she get windmill Tell them wrap it up Because what you want to do A bitch will Try to plant the seed So she can make it out the mud When I'm in my feelings I just put them in the bud I gotta get high sometimes Devil has to too Really high sometimes Running out of breath But I'm running So it makes sense Running to a check Makes sense I gotta make it Every day's a new chance So I gotta take it Took a nap to 1 a.m. I woke up trying to make this Don't know where I go When I begin behind the mic I just say whatever's on my head And in my life uh-uh. Told my auntie I'm just doing me, she said it right Hey, whenever I decide to chill, she'll be one of a kind I ain't talking about the beauty, that's his beauty in her mind But then again, I met a girl with some beautiful fucking mind But things change, shawty called me baby And I wasn't expecting no name change This other girl had DM me her number, she on the same thing Probably be better without her, but it's hard not to change lane So before I go to sleep, like every night, I do the same thing Record, keep my mind busy when Oh, y'all thought y'all was about to get a whole thing? Y'all gotta go download nah, that tape, man seven, though. Yeah, be different, vent on Apple sure. Music. Probably. For sure, for sure. Appreciate that, man. For hey, man. Definitely hard. It's been a pleasure having you at the Million Dollar Basement. Sitting down with us, man. Yeah, pleasure sure. being Appreciate here, you. man. For Make real. Make sure you keep on tapping in, locking in with us, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. I can't wait for to come sure. back and do another one, for real. And those who don't know, y'all can tap in, podcast, interviews, sessions, photo shoots, man. Lock in, tell your mama, tell your auntie, tell your grandma, man. It's your boy Astro. Y'all can follow me at one dot str one dot stro, man. Appreciate y'all. Hey, I appreciate y'all for having me too, man. This nah, it's be sure. different once again. Y'all go tap in, vent out now. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to do it again, man. Come on. For sure, show man. It's too lit, too lit, too l i t t l o n z o. You know what's going on, man? Man, it's your boy Nova at one x n o v a one x Nova. Simple. Like, and comment, that right subscribe, there, man. man. We appreciate y'all, man. Like, comment, subscribe again. Share with your friend. Tell them come lock in. Yeah.